Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Cerebral Palsy Gamer 98. Welcome back to the channel. So, in today's video, I'm going to be continuing the Red Dead Redemption 2 Let's Play. Um, sorry if I don't sound like as enthusiastic as I normally am. I'm a little tired. It's like 5 a.m. right now. I don't know why I'm recording this early. But anyway, let's get this episode started. And please don't forget that if you enjoy to give this video a thumbs up because it really helps me out a lot. Um, and also subscribe if you are new uh, and turn on notifications. But without further ado, let's get this video underway. Now, I did not like the ending of the last episode. It did not end too well for me. That was a sad episode for me. Um, very sad episode for me, and I did not like it. So I hope this one is just a little bit better. Like, honestly, I really do. Because... That last episode just... Tore me up. Whoa, where am I going? Idiot. Okay, let's try to... Get back on the trail here. Yeah, so, um, like I said, the last episode did not have that well of an ending. It was very sad. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, go back and watch it. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Um, it was a very, it was tense. Let's just say that. We're gonna find the boy. Sorry if you hear I my you. cat in the background. Uh oh, what's going on here? Yeah. Arthur, have you seen the boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think. The Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. But Kieran saw a couple of fellas sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. Yes, and we, we will. We will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill them! Rest of you, let's ride! Sorry about my cat. Okay, let's go get that boy back! They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch! Yeah! We just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know. I heard about Sean, too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. 
How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. If there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Perfect scale. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. What happens when you play around, kitty kitty? It's what happens. Okay, get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. I can't wait to start playing this game at like 60 frames per second. We'll go in on foot from here. Yeah. First Sean, now Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. I know, bub. Just wait a minute. There they are. Okay? Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. You inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. Let's do this, boys. We've come for the boy. He must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Will you lay down, please? Whatever complaint you I'll have love on you with in a us, minute. alleged or otherwise, just lay that down and chill boy. out. That is not the way chill we out. do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. What do we do? What do we do? If you ain't gonna be civilized about this, Watch those balconies! Look out! Fall in your neck! Can't move! Cover I'm blessed! John! Tower planning! More fire on the right! Different gun, there we go. Get in there! Find Jack! 
and find that Braithwaite woman! Jack! Jack, can you Jack, hear me? You in here? Sure, I'm all loaded up. in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out uh, of here. Uh, what about down? <laughs> now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. <laughs> That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. <laughs> you boys sure Jack ain't in here? We searched everywhere, Dutch. <laughs> You got that one, Arthur? Uh, I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here! <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are liquor. off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint-Denis. Either there, or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> wow. That was an intense episode. But it is not over yet. He is literally on my keyboard right now, just laying there. It's gonna work out, John. I'll take a picture of it and Listen put it in the video. I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. Here, let me get You're a doing picture. doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing? No. No. Not for nothing. There you go. For living. Now, we get we that boy back. And we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch. We got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure? Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing... Come on. Get out. It's done. This place... Ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man. So in love with greed... He has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me. And I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. I don't okay. think we're going to do that. Yeah. Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case... It'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton. Stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. 
Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. Follow me. I know the way. Do it. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. But we have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail. We're at the end of a rope. Watch out. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run, but we'll be okay. We'll I get see smoke. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. And rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. Or you'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. And there's the field. He chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought I could just leave again and no one would ever know. But some wolves thought otherwise. Look, you're here now, and this spot we're going to, it's close to sand and knee. All right, should be just down this path. Now, I was saying, as soon as we get the others safe, we'll find this Bronte and get Jack back. So what is this place? Lenny found it. Big old run-down plantation house. Another gang was holed up there for a while, but we sent them on their way. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. What are you doing? You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure of nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here. Oh, take a look. shit! It's them again! Boys! Damn it! Still some here. I can see that. You think there's more of them? 
I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Got him. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you! You hear me? Come at me. I dare you! You fools should have left when you had the chance! Where are you creeps hiding? Come out where I can shoot you! You're the one hiding, I'm me. That's it. How about we fight? With one of these. I'm gonna skin you, you watch maggot. Come on. Whoa! All right, well, that happened. It almost seems to happen in every single game I make. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Just gonna get my big gun out. It's them again! Boys, get ready! Damn it! Still some here. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. God. Oh, shit! Get out of here! Now, go! Okay, okay, I'm going. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you! You hear me? Come out where I can shoot you! Oh, I'm gonna be real happy to shut you up. Soon enough, you are some of the coward like you. The bounty hunters. You think you're tough, Yankee? Come in here and fight me like a man. That's it. How about we fight? We want to ease. Not letting that happen again. He's clawing my feet. Got a hit. How's it looking up there? I think we're clear. Good. Ow. Come help me with this, will you? Here, give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. I'm gonna loot him real quick. Whoops. Gators will be eating well today. Loot. Hurry up! This feller's getting heavy. <clears throat> Go to the swamp. Gators will make quick work of it. Okay. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan, guide them in. All right, see you soon. I hope.
Sorry about the extra noise in the background again. Hey! Not the door, that's a window. Wow. I'm lost. Oh, he gotta go around. Wait, what? Incredibly dumb. Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on. And she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends, nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. And what about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with the two families. Ooh. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the west for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. Oh. Always repellent. Exactly. I don't like the look at it. I'll find you in there. 
Go see what you can figure out. Yes. I do not like the look of this. Woo, we're in chapter four. Settling feuds. Completed chapter three. Okay. Let's continue because we have some more time. And I remember coming here uh, that one time. You remember I posted that video about stealing that train? You could have killed me. What's your problem? Watch it! You look in trouble. Hey, partner. You got a problem? Speak up. Man, listen to the sounds of the horse when it walks on pavement. They got that right. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. You should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him. I say that's the state of Lamorne for you, America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Ooh. Over here. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year. Hey, can I get a drink here? Happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Sure. That's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so sweaty, a cocksucker. <laughs> You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, 
Well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Oh. Oh, hey, hey. friend. You, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. That was weird. Come on now, this sulkin doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. So are you done with the silent treatment now? No. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Spending money. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Spending hard money. On Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows. Here, hang on. I'll be right back. Let me let him out. Alrighty, I'm back. I let him out so he's no longer a distraction. So let us continue. As good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming yeah, after yeah. us. You better stop right now. Do just keep running. Master got off. Damn street trash. You after that kid? How the shit went that way? Thanks for the help, friend. Morning, friend. You know I kind of miss old Bob Tails. I don't. Bounce around so much. Couldn't even read the newspaper. Remember? Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Damn snitch! That's enough. Come here. Hey! Moron! Watch yourself. Bye, mister. <laughs> Your poor thing. Are you all right? <laughs> hey, big love, get lost. I said, get lost. Don't. 
Don't you have pigs to feed? I'll kill you, you thieving bastard! I'm being chased by the village idiot! <gasps> oh, ah! oh boy! Shit! Yeah. Oh, run like the goats got loose! You ain't got a chance in hell, Slowpoke! Just give it up, kid! Good morning, sir. I saw this hunter bring a bay to sell a cow. He killed the whole bay himself. I'm hey, Fellas, you seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15? Oh, yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. Thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, <gasps> come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Your children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently he lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back.
All right, so we're we gonna get them back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Got the best apples here. Ain't a worm in any of them. Buenos dias. What can we help you out with today? Pardon me. Hmm. We can make one more. Let's do one more. And then I'll uh, call it quits for today. Oh, I hear a train. Oh, can I steal this? Yo. Out of the way. Oh, I can't. That sucks. That's very disappointing. I'm gonna try it off camera. Okay, girl. So I don't have to keep you guys waiting any longer. A second. I need to go a little. Oh wait, no, is this the entrance here? Angelo Bronte. You boys ready? A man of honor. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just these some slick little greasy haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. Nice house. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. 
We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's gonna be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. <laughs> that did a very steep woman, <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn, uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marshall. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> 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 Salute. Salute. Feed her. All right, let's go. Her health core is going down a little bit. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figured... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. 
Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. This game is awesome this in way. every way possible. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. This is possibly gonna be a long search. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. Let's keep looking. We're too late here. Then and gone. Quiet. Hold on. Shush. Wait. Shush. 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 Sorry, uh, I had a bit to drink. A friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. Sorry, I stayed silent through all this. I'm just You boys found my puppies, watch it! Oh lord. How many you see? Three, four, or ten? Let's bail, boys. This ain't worth it. Look out! I'm not gonna run for it! You should have paid Mr. Bronte! I don't see him! You think you can rob us? Careful! They're leading us out in the open! Let's stay on them! Come on! You made a big mistake coming at us! It's worth a damn! We sure picked the right night for it! Reckon this is gonna wake a few people up? No doubt! I can hardly see what I'm shooting at. If it moves, you blast it. We heard you a mile off. Look at you, back this way. I can think of better ways. Next time Dutch can go and I'll have the drink. God, you, damn it. Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Just keep your head down. You all right? I'm fine. Let's get after him. You shouldn't have come here. Can't fight for those son of a bitch. 
Okay, let's get back to where Mark is. Oh God! Oh God! Ah! Of them. Wow! <laughs> all right, now let's find their stash. Got to be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. This is going to be a long video, guys. My apologies. For that. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Come on. Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Where would that be? Because I couldn't really see. I think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Oh. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it! Come on. Let's go around the side. Come on. Coming this way, get down! I found a body! Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here! Stick with me.
right. They have to be here somewhere. You try the left, and I'll go straight ahead. Man, this is going to be a long video. I did not plan on making it as long. Holy cow. Sorry, guys. Whoops. It's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. But let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Let's get this done. Come on, Arthur. Well, you took your time. Jack! Where's your host? Ah! Like I said, you took <laughs> your time. Ah! I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank uh, Mr. Bronte. All for right. everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. In front of you. I hear All right. You. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs, one for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each <laughs> to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back! I think we 
think I see Jack. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Judge Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so? Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. guys enjoyed this episode because I know I did uh please give me a big thumbs up and hit that big red subscribe button sorry again about the long video but hey it was a good one you know uh but again if you enjoyed uh please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one